Hey, it's Dave Wyman here, special edition of Football 101 for the retirement or impending retirement of Cam Chancellor. And I think we all were not so surprised about Cam retiring just because of the neck injury he had, how long he's played, and just the risk that he would have had to take. But uh, once it happens and it's official, you sort of take stock of what kind of player he was. What, what does he mean to this defense? What did he mean? Is he a ring of uh, fame or ring of honor inductee? Is he a Hall of Famer? You know, played eight years in the league, kind of like Kenny Easley, who played for the Seahawks, that had a tremendous impact, but not for very long. But oh, I think he had enough of an impact to possibly be not only in the, the Ring of Honor for the Seahawks, but also the Hall of Fame. Let's look at Cam Chancellor, first of all. And here's, here's something I sort of came about as I started to sort of take stock, like I said, is what kind of a, a range of player was he? Now, Cam's 6'3", 225 pounds, and just, like, he's the guy you want to get off the bus first. He's just a bad-looking dude, especially with that visor he would wear. But he's 6'3", 225, and here's the range, I think, and I think this makes him by far the most versatile player on the Seahawk defense, but maybe the most versatile defensive player of all time, and here's why. He could cover the deep part of the field, the deep half, which we saw the big hit against Vernon Davis. He was playing some form of cover two where he's covering the deep part of the field and comes up and makes a huge hit. And safeties are typically, you know, 5'10", 190, 200, around that range as far as their height and weight. And he could play with anybody at, at that, uh, in that range. But also up on the, and this is a play we're gonna diagram where he takes on Eric Winston of the Arizona Cardinals. This was back in 2013. Eric Winston's 6'7". And then uh, Mike Upati, there was another play that was at CenturyLink Field where uh, a guard pulled and it was Mike Upati, he was 330 pounds. He's 6'5", and you know, Cam came up and took him on like a linebacker would and put him on the meat wagon. I mean, the ambulance had to come on the, the field because Cam hit him so hard. And look, you never want to injure somebody in the NFL, but you want to make him hurt and you want to make him remember it. And I'm sure Cam felt bad about him having to, he's fine now, I think, Mike Upati, he's, he's playing, but he was able to come up and take him on and destroy him and, and make a tackle. So I just, uh, and who are similar players? If, if you think about the history of the NFL, certainly anybody in the NFL right now, uh, leave comments at the end here and tell me who you think would be in that range, the same range as Cam Chancellor. And I played with a guy named Steve Atwater, who's a big dude, 6'3", 225, probably the same height and weight. David Fulcher played, he was an Arizona State strong safety that uh, played for the Bengals, big dude that could come up and, and take on Lyman, play the run. But you ever see either of those guys fold a six foot seven guy in half? I, I have not seen that. And that's why I think he might be the guy that's in you know, that range and, and the most versatile player. And that's what you love as a defensive coordinator, defensive coach, is it's all about getting the right matchup on the field. And so you wanna make sure you don't have some little guy out there when it's run heavy and then big guys out there when it's uh, more of a tendency to throw the ball. So, and Cam could play in that range. You could pretty much leave him on the field in any situation. So, and they did. And that's the one part I think that they're really gonna miss. So yeah, just leave comments who you think are similar. I know a lot of people would say Ronnie Lott was a very physical player, but again, did he come up and take on offensive linemen like Cam Chancellor? I wrote down here, exploding shoulder pads. That's a, a phrase that we used to use just because, and you know what, I usually compare baseball to football and I'm gonna compare football to baseball actually. Think about Nelson Cruz's swing. It's very compact and a very short arc and swing, but the ball just pops off of his bat. And to me, I think it's all in the hips. It's about turning your body into a whip. And that's what Cam Chancellor had. He had that, that pop that you hear about in baseball. But you see him go into a pile and it's like there's not a lot of velocity going in, but yet the guy exits the pile very rapidly because Cam, just if you just watch the way he unloads his hips, uh, he's able to just get huge hits. And that's why he was able to take, take down a guy that's six foot seven go through this play. This is 2013, game seven. Seahawks ended up winning this game. It was at Arizona, and this is in the first quarter, about 628. It's second and nine, and this is, uh, you know, one of those kind of mixed downs where you're not sure, 
you know, what, what, whether it's a run or a pass, they try to run a, a run here. And basically they just kind of try to wash down here. And then they have the tackle, and this is Eric Winston. I kind of feel sorry for him because <laughs> when I got knocked over in the NFL, you go, oh, everybody's going to be talking about this. But he's a good tackle. But he does what's called a fold block. So these guys block down, and he just kind of takes a step around these guys and then comes and tries to hit Cam Chancellor and just wash him out of here. If you're an offensive coordinator and you see this and like, okay, I can get – my tackle on their safety, I'll take that matchup every single time. And they thought they had the advantage here, but Cam comes up and if you see on the film, he kind of stands in there and then at the last second, he sort of rolls his hips, but he has enough force to just entirely destroy Eric Winston. He ends up falling backwards. And not only that, because the play comes this way, uh, he makes the tackle as well. And he did the same thing with the Mike Upati play that I referenced and we may look at later in the week but you know same thing where he, a lot of times you take on a big guy like that you're just happy to maintain your gap and somebody else makes the play but he not only took the tackle down but he also made the tackle so Cam Chancellor just a very very special player really going to miss him I think the best thing about him though that I have always loved is that he always had a warm smile and always happy and a nice guy, give you a good handshake, perfect gentleman off the field and then on the field, he's a holy terror and that's exactly what you want out of your, uh, out of your football players, especially the guys that play defense. So I just wanna tell Cam Chancellor, uh, we just enjoyed watching him. I know all the Seahawks fans love watching him and uh, he's gonna be uh, in Seahawks fans' hearts for forever.